Hi guys and welcome to Wakalama YouTube channel. Today I would like to show you how to knit after sod heel. If you're working with self-striping yarn, it's really good idea to knit after sod heel because if you knit heel right away, your stripes on a sock will change order. And if you don't want that to happen, you will have to knit after sod heel. And today I would like to show you how to do that. Hello and welcome to Lokalama YouTube channel. I'm Natasha and I will be your host today. Today I would like to show you how to knit after sod heel. Uh, for this project, to knit, to knit these uh, socks, I'm using this beautiful yarn that dyed by our local Manitoba dyer. And that's her name. You can easily find her on Instagram. And this colorway called Like a Fox. And it base is snug, fingering weight. It's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 110 grams, approximately 420 yards. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this yarn. I'm happy with these colors because it's exactly what I was looking for for my socks. But interesting thing about self-striping yarn is that if you knit right away sock uh, heel, when you're knitting and you knit heel right away up front on the front, your stripes will mix up and it they wouldn't be in same order for example if you use up all the blue and orange for your heel then you would continue again of brown mustard and again brown mustard so that um, this wouldn't happen it would be it's really nice to knit after saw so, after sod heel and for that you need to put your stitches uh, you want to keep your stitches live, uh, the ones on the needle and the ones that will go after. And you can use, for this method, you can start knitting your socks, toe up or top down socks, doesn't matter. When you come to the place where you will um, want to have your heel, if you're knitting toe up socks, you should leave approximately um, two two and a half centimeters or I'm not sure how much it is in inches and I don't see my ruler right here Oops, give me a second oh I'll quickly check so 2.5 centimeters it would be one inch okay so when when you're uh, measuring your foot you should be short like foot length should be short about one inch or one and a half inch depends yeah probably about one inch shorter than you wish your length and if you're going knitting top down socks and it doesn't really matter but if you're particular with the length of your cuff then leave approximately one and a half inch or one inch or two and a half centimeters until desired desired lengths. I'm knitting two at a time socks, so a half of my stitches on one side and half of my stitches on the other side. If you're knitting on four needles, you will have to put um, stitches from two needles on a scrap, scrap yarn. So how do we do that? Our working yarn is on our right, on our right side. And now we take scrap yarn and we just hold it here with our hand and we need to take extra needle I'll just hide that one behind and we start knitting all our stitches half half stitches from all them on a scrap yarn Yes, we need uh, two sides of a stitches like we need these stitches after all after live and also we need to keep knitting our sock so we need to pick up stitches for that too and those stitches they have to be live too in the end when we want to knit our heel so that's why we need them on an extra piece of yarn 
okay so we did that now we let go of our needle and now we have two pieces of yarn hanging on both sides and that's okay just leave it there okay and now we move our knitting again to this side we take our working needle and we take our working yarn which we had and now hold um, hold on to this end and start knitting as normal but using stitches from the scrap yarn and it's really nice to take contrasting color yarn that you could easily find this place where you put uh, your stitches on a scrap yarn it would be just easier later on so after we did those two rows now we will continue knit our sock sock is as usual and only when you're see here now we have i'm using magic loop doesn't matter which way you're using to knit your sock um, half stitches should be on scrap yarn and you should have like in my case black stripes on my blue socks here blue color okay so and we will come back to these stitches only after we are completely finished knitting our socks so i'll keep knitting a few more uh, like i'll knit finish knitting blue color orange brown and mustard or yellow and when i come to the blue color i will start knitting my um, ribbing for the sock and when i'm done completely with the sock i'll come back here and i'll show you how to knit heel okay bye for now after we finish knitting whole sock completely and we bind off and now we will start knitting after sewed heel and i finished one already and i want to show you how it looks so after we open it up we would start knitting with orange color but if you prefer to have your blue line a little bit wider you can start knitting with a blue color like in my case and then continue to other colors okay so that's how after thought he looks like and it's really really nice with a stripey yarn because up front uh, all your stripes goes in right order now we need to open this uh, scrap yarn and put live stitches on a needle so you can do it um, different ways you can do it one at a time just kind of catch each stitch on the needle first and then start opening this yarn or you can do it differently so I'll, I usually start with putting one needle first a little bit in so and here we see our next stitch Then I take extra needle and I, I would start opening, pulling this black yarn out. So now we can catch a few more of them. Same on this side. 
because you don't want to let them go without catching them. It's a little bit slow process, but it's worth it in the end. Okay, and continue doing like so until you open all the stitches. After you took them all on two needles, all stitches onto needles. Now we need to spread them equally on four needles. So you will have approximately 13 stitches on each needle. So now when we have uh, 13 stitches on each knitting needle, uh, here we will have a little bit, uh, one more stitch if we will pick up this stitch here. But uh, we need to take another ball of yarn exactly uh, if you're using self striping yarn you need to take exactly same lengths of orange color start with or orange color also here on on a foot like here's foot and here's top and we can start knitting our heel at any point like we can start here or here or here anywhere so i'll start on my foot on a sole right here in the middle so I'll take a piece of my yarn and first row we will just knit in a round but first row would be very uh, crucial for us uh, because we need to close all the holes what we might have. So I'm just kind of holding this end and start knitting and maybe your stitches are not looking all the same way so you need to look at that too that your stitches wouldn't be twisted. So, so far on this needle, they all turned same way. So, and here, when we come closer to the end, we need to look at the, our sock, and we can see that next stitch would be this one. And it's extra stitch so we'll take this stitch on a needle and we will twist it just to make it uh, stronger like to make hole smaller more tight and we will knit last stitch and extra stitch together okay that's for this needle then look our hole is still quite big here so to make uh, this hole smaller we need to pull this yarn from from here this strand see and pick up that stitch and again you need to twist it and put it on a needle okay and we need to turn this stitch as well so we will turn it put it back and we will knit those two stitches together from left to right okay Oops. and this uh, two stitches we have to knit really tight and let's just keep knitting all the stitches from this needle So in here where two needles are connected, right here we don't have any holes, so we don't have to make anything tighter here. So we just keep knitting next needle and also watch your stitches and none of them would be twisted. Okay, and when we come to the other side, we might have a hole too, so we need to watch very careful what we are supposed to do on this side. So this last stitch looks pretty normal, 
but it's a little bit uh, stretched so I would just twist it a little bit and knit it just one stitch okay and to avoid hole here we need to pick up again uh, this piece of yarn here turn it around and put it on a needle like that and knit stitch and this extra stitch together and you need to really tighten it up that you wouldn't have any holes here on the joints okay and then we're keep knitting uh, till the end of this row or round and here we will have to join two yarns together tie, tie them in a knot that would stay nicely in circle okay so i'll lay my knitting on a flat surface and i take this end of a yarn and i will just tie them together but also you can tie this uh, yarn after you're done knitting your heel and just hide it but for now i'll tighten it up and i'll put it inside okay and now we can start doing our decreases so i'll do exactly as i did on the other heel i will knit knit one and now i will knit two together picking up from left to right okay and then knit all the oops no 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 not here it's just in the middle middle of the sole so we just knit and we will do decrease at the end of this needle Here, when we have just three stitches left so we'll do slip slip knit two together and knit last stitch okay so we do decreases on the sides and again knit one and now we'll knit two together from left to right oops it's a little bit tight here first few rows but still do it okay and we are knitting all the rest of the stitches on this needle and we will knit stitches start knitting on this needle until last uh, three stitches And then we'll do our last decrease. And also it would be a, a great idea to put a stitch marker right here. So we know that's a spot where we start our decreases. Okay, slip, slip, knit and knit a last stitch. Okay, now uh, we did all round and here will be end of our round and after that we are knitting two rows without decreases so i knitted two rounds without any decreases and now we'll do one round with decreases again So when we have three stitches left, we do our decrease and same all around. And next we do one, one round knitting, one round with in, uh, decreases, one round knitting, one round with decreases. Okay, so let's check that we are on the same page. So we did one we knitted one row and we did one decrease 
then we needed two rows and we need made another de decrease here and then we did one row decrease one row decrease one row so now next step would be to knit three rows and make three decreases until we have on our need on each needle just six stitches so i won't show you but you just go ahead and knit and do decrease next row again decreases and next row again decreases three times after you finished all the decreases you should have left like six stitches on each needle so and now we can put them all stitches uh, and then we knit till the end of the row like end of the round would be in the middle but we just knit to, to the side all the way to the side that our piece of yarn left that goes to the ball would be on the side and now we just need to transfer all the stitches uh, that we would have them on two knitting needles because it would uh, be more easier for us to sew stitches together if they're just on two knitting needles like this so now we have heel right here and it's uh, same as toes but just I made uh, decreases here just like that it would be more round now we need to cut off our yarn and we need to leave just um, small piece would be like three lengths i usually do like one two, like this cut it off the thing is about uh self-striping yarn uh, you never know if it would be exactly same or not like here i was able to finish on a brown color and i just had just two stitches in this next color so if you look at this sock i had already few one row of lighter color so my two two heels will be a little bit different but that's okay that's what happens with self-striping yarns if uh, lengths maybe not exactly same or if uh, stitches are not tension right like when you're knitting maybe your tension is not exactly same so that might happen so now we put thread this needle and now we need to sew together this fabric so i move my needles kind of more to the end and now to have a nice good fabric here we need to start sewing right away so uh, to the stitch where your yarn is attached you go from the inside to outside like this okay and now we go in here from from the outside outside and then we go back into the stitch from outside this stitch we can remove already from now we go from outside inside okay now we need to work with this needle here from outside inside and from inside to outside okay now we need to work on this stitch here go from outside inside in from inside to outside Here from outside to inside, inside, outside. So each stitch should be sewn twice, right? From outside to inside and now from inside to outside. And yarn should always go under uh, knitting needles. OK, 
Okay, go back. And let's sew till the end of the row and I'll meet you right here. After you sewed all the stitches and here focus and here last stitches, this one and this one, just sewed, sewed once. So we put our knitting needle in here. Okay. And then go back this and stitch it second time in here but now we need to go all the way inside the sock just give me a second so after you put your needle in here you need to sew it to the inside like this and here on a heel inside of your sock we will uh, just do one knot and then we can just hide a uh, red right piece of your yarn in the stitches so you don't have to do it later like this and then we can just cut this edge of yarn because uh, thread I thread it through. Okay, so that's how a heel looks like. And as I said, my other heel would be with a little bit light fabric here, but I can't um, change it or prevent it from happening, and that's okay. So now we just need to go and block our other sock and put it on to the blocker and wait until it will dry and be exactly same as this one okay that's it that's tutorial for you for today my sock blockers are a little bit too short for this long socks but I'm trying to dry them anyways here okay I hope you like this video Bye.